Here's a quick little video on a Jeep that just had Mocan installed. This build was actually done a while ago, but we just upgraded it to Mocan and a Camaro SS fan. You'll notice that this fan is changing speed infinitely, speeding up, slowing down. It's about 106 degrees outside. We've got our air conditioning on, and it's been idling here for a while. Let's look at some of the data and what Motec or Mocan can do. And here's the Mocan module right here. So here's some of the data that we're looking at. If you look at this screen here, you can see that we've got vehicle speed, air intake temperature, coolant temperature, engine RPM, all on this PID list. If you look at AC pressure, you'll see that it's constantly changing. The AC serial command is basically a request from the serial network which goes from the high back controller to the body control module that the AC has been requested on. If you look at the fan percentages, the fan desired and the fan actual are going to constantly move. The fan desired obviously is the goal that's set and then the fan percentage follows it. That number is a calculated number based on all the PIDs above airflow, air intake temp, coolant temp, vehicle speed, etc. So it's constantly changing the, the speed of the fan based on all these parameters. If I were to turn the air conditioning off, you would see that the, the fan request would go down because the engine does not need to run at 205 degrees. So essentially the fan right now is running as much as it has to run to keep the AC condenser pressure within, within range. Now if we look here, we're looking at the Chrysler side you're looking at the evap temperature you can see how nice and flat that is we're uh, running just just over 50 degrees under ambient and that's pretty much what you want to shoot for when you're running in 105 to 110 degree temperatures your condenser pressure can get in excess of 300 psi we're finding with these variable speed fans they're not going up that high in fact uh, we are at 225, 230 PSI. You can see that our Chrysler side also has the AC request active. There's no wires connecting the Chrysler side and the GM side in our MoCAN module. It's all done through the CAN network. And all these parameters are pulled through the CAN network and bi-directionally communicated through the MoCAN module. And then we get an OE level of not only air conditioning and engine performance, but fan control, which is very important. And you'll see that this fan only runs when it needs to run. It's not going to run in full speed all the time. It's going to change its output based on need.